or summary, you can put right at the top how they would apply and if you're interested in having them join your organization, you can put your contact information there. It, you're not gonna get spammed by LinkedIn. It happens very rarely. I think I've been spammed three times in total and I'm a, I'm a big LinkedIn user. All right, um, and then you can use the relationship tab in LinkedIn to show you, you know, where you met somebody. You can set a reminder where LinkedIn will let you know in the future to reach out to them. You can show how you met, and of course, you can add the tag that we talked about. All right, LinkedIn has something that is called a relevance algorithm. So, uh, how many of you have wondered in a search how do you end up near the top of the search or the bottom of the search? A lot of it has to do with how complete your LinkedIn profile is. And even if your first connection of somebody, if your profile's not complete, you're not gonna end up in the top search results. So you have to meet these parameters. So first of all, uh, the algorithm will show if your first level connections uh, with profiles that are 100% complete and have the most common connections or shared groups, you're gonna be in the top results for that person. And then it's ranked in descending order. And then, um, if you're, if you're doing a search, you'll see first level connections with the fewest of common connections or shared groups. Again, in descending order, ranked by profile completeness. Then second level connections, ranked in descending order by profile completeness. Third level connections, ranked in descending order by profile completeness. You hear this common theme of profile completeness. And then shared group members, ranked in descending order by profile completeness. So everyone outside of your network that is ranked in descending order by profile completeness. So the key takeaways here, uh, be a first degree connection to as many people as possible, and then secondly, have a profile that's 100% complete. Now, uh, LinkedIn gives you the opposite advice about who you should connect with. They say connect with people you know, only that you know and trust. The problem is that's not how their algorithm works. So if you want to get found, it's better to be connected with a larger number of people. And when people say, well, who should I connect with? You know, I'd say, first of all, if they're in your industry, connect with them. You know, if they're in Canada, in a related industry, connect with them. If they're in the United States, in a related industry, connect with them. And then the further you go outside of whatever your market is, that's where you want to use your judgment. Um, but again, your chances of getting highly spammed by LinkedIn are so low compared to other social media networks.